Elizabeth Nelson Butler is a musical string instrument repair instructor at Southeast Technical College in Red Wing. Her students are from diverse backgrounds with different learning styles. My students are very unusual. They range in age from 17 to over 60. They range in education from uh, a GED to um, master's and law degrees I've had. I've had people with master's degree in music and people with no musical experience at all. People who've had woodworking experience and people who have none. And so it really keeps me on my toes <laughs> to try to meet the needs of the different students. Pines to gallons. Pines to gallons. They also have a lot of women that never worked, never went to college before, and now they want to have a college degree. Taijin Liu teaches math at Pine Technical College, but also shares her life experiences with students. Those type of a students, they probably seem especially closer to me because they can relay their, uh, not just the course, but their life story, their family, usually. Her students are also interested in her previous work in the insurance industry as an actuary. They understand I had work before, so they will ask me some more a career-oriented question. Community and technical colleges serve a wide variety of student needs. Ideally, when our students come in, they learn about the subject matter expertise. They develop hands-on skills and training, and we look at ways in which they can apply that training in the careers that they're most familiar with. I was born and uh, raised in Russia, and uh, we moved to uh, Minnesota when I was 13. Dennis McGega started his technical college journey in high school. I took some classes, um, welding classes in uh, Brooklyn Park campus, and I really liked it. Later, he decided to enroll in the graphic arts program at Hennepin Technical College. That's how I started going to HTC, thanks to my um, high school instructors. Zach, what did you do? I'm actually going to do mine in Australia. Oh, cool. Technical and community colleges are the gateway to post-secondary education for many first-generation students, like Ashley Bray. If you're, especially if you're first generation, which means your parents haven't gone to college, I am the firstborn, so going to college was completely new for my whole family. Where does the power come from? Does it come from the people, like in a democracy? Of the more than 570,000 international students attending college in the United States, one-third of them attend community or technical colleges. They didn't have their primary school here, so that they, we really have to teach them not only the language, but also the culture at the same time. They feel good about themselves, right? Julie Radikowski has traveled the world seeking cultural understanding to improve her teaching, including sabbaticals in India and Tanzania. She's really reached out to expand her own horizons, but the horizons for the college as well. Very much a global thinker. We have a tremendous number of, of Somali refugees and Kenyan refugees. Um, some of the lost boys of Sudan are here. And I've actually had the privilege of having one of the lost boys of Sudan in my class. And having that direct understanding of, of even the topography and uh, you know the dustiness and, and what the bush country, you know, what that actually means and and how they lived and the refugee camps, having an understanding of that, I think has, has made me more understanding of their entire situation in their life and, and what their goals and dreams are. Help, 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 please. Deep breaths. Nathan Muhammad's dream is to help people immediately. This program at Century College is helping him meet his goal in becoming a paramedic. When I took my EMT classes, I found out that I really enjoyed it, but I felt uh, that I couldn't do enough for my patients, and that frustrated me. So I decided that I wanted to become a paramedic, and then I transferred here um, because I, I like the program a little bit better here. Yeah, you're picking up these holes. Nicholas Ferrand holes works for his family business while he's enrolled in college. He attends Pine Technical College to upgrade his skills in rapid prototyping, reverse engineering, and CNC operations. All of the so. stuff that, that I've learned here, I've been able to actually take out into the workplace, into where I work. Uh, so it's kind of a learn and applied thing, so it's uh, pretty neat. You know, what would you assume? 
Technical and community colleges provide access to many non-traditional students like Mary Jo Eisenach. She's taking a biology course at Rainy River Community College. I've always been fascinated by science, by how things work and how everything is interrelated. To the water! Mary Jo says she appreciates the sense of camaraderie her teacher shares with this diverse group of students. We are, you know, high school students taking college courses, high school graduates taking college courses, and non-traditional students, but yet he's able to reach all of us and make it real to each one of us. And we communicate with each other comfortably. Give it a whirl.